Welcome to ALM Octane. In this movie, we are looking at how to use test suites for regression testing. Using the new test suite design, you can more effectively assign and manage regression testing events by including tests in a test suite. By design, a test suite is a collection of tests wrapped in the container of the test suite. In ALM Octane, the test suite has a couple of advantages to help you speed up and improve regression testing events. One, you can assign test runs to different users and different environments from within the same test suite. Two, after all the tests are run, you can view a single report, thereby avoiding the need to look at multiple test run results. Let's start by creating a test suite. Test suites are created by the regression event QA owner to manage the regression testing process. You can create the test suite from either the backlog or the quality module, although we are working from the quality module. Click on the Add button and select Test Suite. Give the test suite an identifiable name. Then, in the Tests tab, let's add some tests to the test suite. For each test suite, you have to create a suite run before you can run the tests. In the toolbar, click the Plan Suite Run button. Then, Provide a unique and identifiable name for the suite run. Assign a release to the suite run. Then, select a default environment and default owner for the run. After you've planned the run, you can see that the test runs are created in the Runs tab of the suite run. For our regression testing event, we're going to duplicate the test runs we've already created. Duplicating the test runs is a critical part of regression testing, as it enables you to run the same test across different environments and ensure that your application runs correctly in different scenarios. Select the tests, right-click and select Duplicate Run. You can see the duplicated runs are now added in the grid. Now, let's assign the test runs to different owners. This would normally be done by the QA owner of the regression testing event in most organizations. For each test run, select a different owner for the run by field. Then, in the Environment field, assign a unique environment for the test run. If you have a large number of tests, you can also use the Bulk Update option from the Context menu. Now that we've assigned all the tests to different owners and environments, we are ready to run the tests. You could run the tests directly from the various tabs of the test suite. However, after a test is assigned to a run by owner, the test run is displayed in their assigned work in the My Work module of the assigned tester. Open the My Work module and then select the test. Then, in the right pane, click on Run Test. The ALM Octane Manual Runner opens and you can run the test steps one by one, as you would for any manual test. After all the run by owners of all the tests have finished their test runs, we can see a unified report for the entire test suite. Open the Report tab of the suite run. There, 
you can see the tests included in the sweep run and the run results. Note that the report says two runs. That is because we duplicated the runs and ran them on different environments. Two, the steps in each test. Three, the result of any validation steps included in the test. These are displayed for all the tests in the test suite. In addition, use the dashboard to view test suite results on a continuous basis. Open the dashboard module from the ALM Octane title bar. In our dashboard, we've added two graphs. Defects by application module. This widget displays the number of defects per application module. Run status by application module. This widget displays the test run results per application module sorted by the test run status. In each of these widgets, it is possible to further isolate the results per suite run, which enables us to see the defects per suite run or the run status for a specific suite run. For example, we are sorting the run status by application module widget to show the status for all the suite runs included in our project currently. If you want, you can also sort for each suite run to see the planned runs versus the runs already completed or in progress. 